So I had a really good video set up already for this and it was great. I fully unboxed everything. It was all fine and dandy and then my phone decided to eat the footage. So hopefully you guys are the forgiving types and will allow me to do this as a first impressions video. Welcome to Cube Dudes. My name is Ryan and today I'm giving my first impressions of a few puzzles. So the first thing here that we got, I want to talk about is the N50 Magnetic Conversion Kit from SCS. Now I've magnetized about 5 or 6 puzzles so far, but I want to see what it's like with this full kit. It's got the tweezers, you've got uh, two small vials of Super Blue Mini. I've heard a lot of good things about this. And this logo. You guys should take... Oh, I just dropped that. I'm going to have to jump cut that. And this logo. Take a good look at that. That's a very nice logo, and I imagine that was designed by a very attractive person. Next, here we have the 2x2 two two Master Morphics. Now, as many of you guys know, I am a huge fan of all kinds of shape mods, so I had to pick this up as soon as I got it. And this is great. It's a lot smoother. Now, this puzzle actually does have a little bit of corner cutting, uh, but it's not going to be, like, speed solvable, although I don't know why you'd want to speed solve a shape mod. This is more kind of a... Relaxing puzzle. You know, just... Next up, we have the MF4S. Now, I've always been interested in this Cuban classroom puzzle since they began. I, um, I've had the MF3S or the MF3, and it was it's nice. It's probably at this point my favorite um, budget 3x3 in that range. Although there are a few more I have to check. Um, this is the MF4S, and it came pretty tight. But it's it's pretty nice. It's not the smoothest puzzle in the world, but it's good for its price. Uh, it's a lot better than my first World of War, which was the Sheng Shao, so if you're looking to get a good starter for World of War, this is definitely what I would recommend. I'll let you guys know as I set this up what it's like, but for now, out of the box, it could perform better, but for a budget puzzle, it's definitely good enough. The most exciting part is the Gogon 2x2. Now, last time I got a Gogon puzzle was before I started a YouTube channel, so I'm curious to see how this compares to it. It does have a little bit of that kind of Dian feeling, but uh, it's a lot more hollow. It's... I'm not sure. I, it's not quite like many other 2x2s two that I've tried, although I'll admit that I haven't tried very many. I'm a huge fan of it. It'll cut pretty much anything. You're not going to really need to worry about that with a lot of the puzzles that you're seeing today. Uh, and as always, Gogon has one of my absolute favorite logos that I've seen on a puzzle. So far, I'm extremely happy with this puzzle. This 2x2 is probably my favorite that I have so far. So I can definitely recommend that. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys like these puzzles, I'll put links to them down in the description below. And I'll keep you guys updated as I set these up, and I'll try and keep you updated when I make the magnetic cube out of this conversion kit. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time.